Hello, my friend. Welcome to this lesson where we are talking about surface area and specifically surface area of cylinders. Before we proceed with our questions, you need to know the formulas which we are supposed to use to get the surface area of cylinders, surface area of cylinders. But even before that, what is a cylinder? What does a cylinder look like? A cylinder, what does a cylinder look like? Cylinders are made up of curved surface, this is curved surface, and also circles at the ends, circles. It might be open like this one, like this one is open, this is a pipe. So pipe is an example of a cylinder, of a cylinder. Because it has curved surface and also it has two openings, meaning this one is just the curved surface alone. We have another one. This is also a cylinder. This is also a cylinder with the top. Mm -hmm. The top. Uh -huh. Then we have curved surface. This is curved, curved surface. Then we have a circular at the bottom. This is also a cylinder, this one, with a curved surface, open circle at the top. Then we have another circle at the bottom. So this one is open cylinder, that is open cylinder. Same to, same to this. This is curved surface. We have open circular at the top. Then we have another circle at the bottom, that is open cylinder. You, have, <laughs> you know so many examples of cylinders, even the water tanks we use at home. Uh, cooking fat tins. Yeah, you find it, we have different examples of cylinders. We also have this one. This is also a cylinder. This one is a cylinder. This one is open. If you close here with that circle, then you close at the other end with this circle. This becomes a closed cylinder. This is a closed cylinder. Also, tissue roll. This one. This one. This one. This is a, uh, this one is a cylinder, but this one is not cup service alone. The circle is not there, the other circle is not there. So these are good examples of cylinders. If we cut the cup service, if we cut this cup service, what will happen? What will happen if we cut the cup surface? What will happen? You'll find this one is a rectangle. If you cut the curved surface, it is a rectangle. It's a rectangle. This one is a rectangle. You can cut another one. Cut. Uh -huh. Now we are cutting the curved surface. Of, of course, we know we have a circle here. We have another circle. So we want to see what happens when you cut the curved surface. Curved surface. So in other words, the curved surface will become a rectangle like this. The curved surface will become a rectangle like this. What about the top here? This was circumference, this one. And remember, circumference is equal to... Circumference is equal to... Let me write that. Circumference... We are saying this distance at the top here, from here, after cutting now, this distance here to a circumference, how do you get circumference? Which formula do you use? Pi diameter. So this distance from here up to here, this is the distance. It is our diameter, this distance. So this is pi diameter. Mm -hmm. Then, if this one was our cylinder, this one, this one now. Let me use this one because this one is the curved surface. We want to derive the formulas. The formula will come from this net, this is a net now. After cutting the curved surface, it becomes a rectangle like this. And this top one here, this curved distance here, remember the curved distance is supposed to be called circumference. This is pi diameter, pi diameter, pi diameter. So this one is pi diameter. That is the length of this rectangle, which is formed after cutting the curved surface. Then the height of the cylinder, the height of the cylinder, this is the height of the cylinder, that is the height of the cylinder. 
So how do you get the area of this rectangle now? And then remember the rectangle is the curved surface. This is the rectangle we have got after cutting the curved surface. So how do you get area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle is length times width. So our length is, this was our circumference. So it is length, which is pi in diameter. Then you multiply by the width. Width is half. So that is the formula which you are supposed to use to get the surface area of curved surface when you are talking about a pipe. You find a question like, what is the surface area of a pipe which is 60 meters long and the diameter is 7 meters? So this is the formula you are supposed to use. Pi diameter times. Right. Can you use another example? If it is closed, if it is a closed cylinder, like this one, you'll find we have two circles, one at the top, the other one at the bottom. So when you are talking about closed cylinder, what is the formula which you are supposed to use? First, this is one circle, so it is pi r squared. Mm -hmm. The other area of the other circle, remember area of a circle, this is the formula you are supposed to use. Pi r squared. Pi r squared. We have one circle, pi r squared. We have another one, pi r squared. Mm -hmm. Then we have the curved distance. Curved distance. This is the curve. If you cut the curved distance, what will happen? If you cut, we have said it will become a rectangle, but half. How does it become This was our cutting surface, this one. After cutting, whew, whew, wonderful, it has become a rectangle. And remember, it was um, a cylinder like that. So, this was our height. This is our height. Then, this one was our circumference. This one, the cup distance, it was circumference. Now, it will become the top line here. And how do you get the circumference of a circle? Remember the top was a circle, this one. How do you get the circumference of that top? Pi diameter, pi diameter. So the first circle, that is the formula you're supposed to use. The other circle, that is the formula you're supposed to use. Then this one is length times width. That is pi diameter times height. So what is the total surface area when it is closed? Pi r squared, pi r squared. You can use this formula. Uh, when it is closed, let me write pi up because we have that question. When it is closed, we have pi r squared, then we have another pi r squared. So those are two pi r squares. Two pi r squared. So we have two pi R squared because they were two, two circles. One circle is pi r squared, the top one. Then since we have two circles, you say two times pi r squared. Then you add the area of the curved surface, which is pi diameter times height. So those are the formula, that is the formula you're supposed to use. What about if it is open? When it is open cylinder, what are you supposed to do? We only have one circle, and the area of a circle is got by using this formula, pi r squared. Then this one is the curved surface. We have seen this one is pi d, the cutting. Then this is height. So when it is open, we only have one pi r squared. Mm -hmm. So we have pi r squared. Mm -hmm. That is only one circle at the bottom. Then we have the curved surface, so you add pi diameter times height. That is the formula. So those are the formulas which you are supposed to use for you to get the surface area of cylinders. And we have said a cylinder can be open, closed, or maybe pi or curved surface. So let us use these examples for us to understand. Now we are doing the practical work. We want to see what will happen? What will happen? So the first question: What is the surface area of the cylinder 
closed cylinder because the keyword is closed cylinder. So we are using this formula. We have two circles, one, then we have another one at the bottom, two, then the curved surface, when you cut it, we say it will become a rectangle, that is the formula. So let us substitute our formula. We have two circles times, one circle is pi, which is 22 over 7, times radius square. If the diameter is 14, what is the radius? Divide by 2, you get 7 times 7. That is the first part of our formula, 2 pi r square, plus 22 over 7 times, what is the diameter? 14. I'm just using very simple uh, numbers so that you can understand. Then you multiply by the height, the height of the container of the cylinder, that is 10, 10 meters. So work out each part of the formula, then you add. Remember we are talking about surface area, surface area, we are talking about surface area. So let us simplify, by 7, 1, by 7, 1. So you have 2 times 22, yes, you get what? It's very good, you have said the correct thing, that is 44. What is 44 times 7? Let us multiply. 44 times 7. We have said 2 times 22, 44. Now we multiply by 7. Yes. What is 4 times 7? 28. Yes, you have said the correct thing. We have 28, 8 carry 2. Yes. Come out. 7 times 4, you get 28. Then you add 2, you get 30, 308. After working off the two pairs, but the areas of the two circles is 308. That is not the correct answer, my friend. Yes? Just feel? What is the next step now? Yes, you have said the correct thing. You go to the next part of the formula. Yes, Sharon? You have the next part of the formula is 22 over 7 times 14 times 10. Very simple. The simple is just cooking porridge. Very simple. You just put water, let it boil. There's no food. This is just a simple formula which you can just use. If you know how to cook, you can just address any question talking about surface area of a cylinder. Hope we are together. So by 7, 1. <laughs> by 7, you have 2. 14 divided by 7, you get 2. So we have 22 times 2. You get 44. 44 times 10, you get 440. What is 440? That is the area of the curved surface. The area of the curved surface. Now, what is the total surface area? Yes? Geoffrey? You add. That is correct. That is true. You just add. So, you add. This was the area of the two circles. Mm -hmm. You can even get the area of each circle alone. You just say 24 over 7 times 7 times 7, 24 over 7 times 7 times 7, you will get 154, 154, you add, you get 308. So let us get the total surface area. We have 308 plus 404. You have 8 plus 0. Yes, Riz. Very true, you get 8. 0 plus 4, you have 4. 3 plus 4, you have 7. And remember, we are talking about surface area, surface area, surface area. So these were meters. You get meters squared. That was part one. Thank you very much for following. Hope we are still together. You are enjoying mathematics. Thank you very much. Pleasure, my pleasure. Let's continue to the next question. Find the surface area of the open cylindrical container below. Find the surface area of the open. If it is open, we said if it is open, the top, the top, the top circle is not there. So we only have one circle, then the curved surface. And the formula is very simple. Since one circle is not there, you are just getting the area of one circle, pi r squared. That is the formula of getting area of a circle. Then the curved surface. Curved surface is pi in diameter. 
times part. Find the average times side. Let us substitute our range. Let's our numbers, our measurements. So the first part of the formula is pi, which is 22 over 7. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, so we are together. Times. <laughs> We have ranges, what is the ranges if the diameter is 14? I'm just using the same measurements so that you can see the difference. Because we have so many questions. And we can even find decimals. If you find decimals, you just do the necessary. 22 over 7 times the radius, which is 7, mm -hmm. times radius again, because R of radius squared, that is R squared. You work out that. Then you add the other part of the formula. Pi, which is 22 over 7 times diameter. The diameter is 14. Wonderful. 14 times. What is the height? The height is 10. Work out this part of the formula, then you work out the other one, then you add the two areas. By 7, 1, by 7, 1. 22 times 7, I know it's 154, but let us just multiply. You have 22 times 7, yes? 7 times 2, 14. That is very correct. You have 14, 4 carry 1, that is good. 7 times 2, 14. Very correct. Then you add 1, you get 154. So the area of the area of the bottom circle, remember the other circle is not there, that is when we are going to multiply by 2. So the area of the circle is 154 meters, yes, yeah, centimeters squared. Wonderful. Then go to the other part of the formula, you are by 71 by 7. 2. So you have 22 times 2, you get 44 times 10, you get 440. Uh -huh. Let us add, you add, what are we adding? You add 154 plus 4, 140, you have 4. 5 plus 4, you have 9. 1 plus 4, you get 5. So the surface area of the open cylinder is 594 centimeters square. Very simple. As simple as taking the record porridge. You just follow. Very simple. Thank you for following up to now. We have another one. That is question number three. If you have any question, you can just ask me later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sande sana. The figure below shows a cylindrical team. What is the area of the curved surface? In other words, what is the surface area of the curved part? And we are saying if it is just a part, the circles are not there. There is no circle because it is like this one. This one. That there is nothing. You can, you can see the other end. You know, I can see now. That there is nothing. There is no circle here. There's no circle at the other end. If I put uh, water here, I don't want to, but let me put this. If I put this piece of chalk here, it can go. Yes, it can go to the other side because there's nothing. There's no circle. Remember, surface area means the surfaces. The surfaces. This surface, there's nothing. So you are not using pyro square anywhere. You are just getting the area of the curved surface, just like this one. There's nothing, there's nothing, so you're just getting the surface area, this rectangle, and we say this distance is called circumference, pi in diameter, mm -hmm. this is it, pi in diameter, then you multiply by the height, length and width, the height, this is height, so what is the formula? Surface area of the curved surface, or pi, when you hear the word pi, you're supposed to use pi diameter, times half. What is the pi? You use 22 over 7. You can use 22 over 7, 3.14 if the measurements are not visible by, by 7. So times, mm -hmm. the diameter is 14 times. What is the height? The height is the line joining the two circles. That is the height we are talking about. 
Uh, for example, you can't put this thing on a cartoon which is light. It must start like this. So the height is done meters. But 71, but 72. So you have 22 times 2. You have 44. You have 44 times 10. You have 440 meters square. So you can see the difference. You can see the difference between surface area of open cylinder, surface area of closed cylinder, surface area of a very simple, very, 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 very simple, as simple as cooking chapati. Don't tell me I, I like eating. Uh, you can't stay without eating. That's why I like simple things like cooking. Cooking. That's cooking tea. Yeah, very simple. In case you have any question, or you find you have not understood, just start from the beginning again. Follow. We started here, deriving the formulas. We went to substituting the formulas with our measurements. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. I will miss you. Bye bye. Meet you later in another lesson. Thank you.